Yo, 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 what's going on, my DO Double Two Ring? What's up, everybody? Karma here, crazier than ever, wilder than ever, better than ever. And I'm bringing you an Infinite Warfare Mayday Hardpoint public match gameplay. This is the most intense match you'll ever see. Okay, no, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but this was right before we played phase clan the first time back since ESWC this was right before we played them okay like the first time crim6 got hit off this was while he was driving to the optic gaming house um crim6 like comes he gets to the house about three quarters away through this game and I'm like yo this is my best hardpoint game of this game pub wise competitive wise you name it I was fucking so, I decided to finally upload a video. Uh, I don't know why, but I, I saved this video just because it was a lot of kills, dude. You know, it might be like one of the longer hard points you'll ever watch in Infinite Warfare. Um, but I thought it was pretty crazy, you know. Like I said, I don't really keep up with YouTube and Infinite Warfare or Scump and Domination Pub gameplays. <laughs> but, uh... I like to play pubs, and and this is one of the better gameplays I've got in IW. Lately, I've had a lot of 100 plus, 120 plus, but this one is even more than 120. I don't actually remember the exact number, but it's a lot of kills. Like I said, it, it's a it's quite a long game. Somehow, there's already four minutes left, but I assure you, this is like there's like 10 minutes plus left. 10 minutes of discussion. 10 minutes of me and you. And me drinking some cherry Pepsi, wild cherry, not just cherry, wild cherry. Yeah, I'll try not to bump my mic, but uh, let's just keep you guys or bring guys up to date with Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, esports, and how everything's going. So uh, if you're if you're new, or if you just haven't watched YouTube in forever or any Infinite Warfare or Optic or Call of Duty shit. You'll know the first event of the year was some little Totino's event that we didn't go to. Because Totino's last year was Totino's. I didn't want a Totino's V2. Um, so we didn't go to that. Then we had MLG Vegas. We didn't do too great at Vegas because, uh, you know, we didn't really play a whole lot as a team. When we went home, you know, we practiced real hard, real hard. Went to MLG Atlanta. God, part of me feels like we won Atlanta, but we didn't. We didn't win Atlanta, guys. I'm sorry. We, we won a best of five in the finals from loser bracket and then lost the next best of five last map. Uh, but you know what? We kept getting better. Better, 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 and better. Um, We went to ESWC and we pretty much clobbered everybody. Clobbered. Put them on a fucking uh, skewer like, uh, like a kebab and uh, we cooked them. We won ESWC, we came back home, and we won a 2k. Uh, it was actually a pretty convincing 2k, we only really lost maps to A's. And I think that was in the finals, or... No, that was before the finals, we played E6 in the finals. Uh, but we played FaZe in the semis, won that. That's pretty much where we are in the Call of Duty world right now. Uh, and then next up after that, we have... The MLG Dallas. We've been practicing for MLG Dallas. The real practice really has kind of started, which ain't bad because I don't think anybody really forgot how to play. It was more of us just like getting in tune and actually being uh, being able to play with these DDoS, DDoS issues. Um, yeah, we found some preventative measures or ways that we can play without you know being attacked by by mum. You know, uh, it's a boy's been hitting us off and oh. Flying doesn't hit us off when uh, Mum tucks him into bed, though. So, uh, like I said, we've been able to play. I think we'll be able to play here on out. Uh, but you know, I just might disturb uh, the peace in our household. That's fine. Playing, everything's good. We got a MLG Dallas pool. What do you know? What better than the first seed having Team Envious in your pool? But yeah, we have Envious. Red Reserve, you know, they, uh, it's not the same Red Reserve we played at ESWC, it is a different Red Reserve. It's like half the players, half the players, one guy got dropped or traded, the other guy left, and the other two stayed. 
they got Nile and Johnny, I think, from Elevate, and I think somebody said 3G. Um, I'm not sure how that team would be, and I think the last team's Tainted Mimes, obviously one of the better Australian teams. I think they're competing with Mime Freak. Uh, they, they'd probably have to do really well in our pool, if not win the pool and do well in bracket play to possibly pass up Mime Freak. I don't know if that's possible, but without looking at it, it's probably possible that, or or it's their best chance to make it in the land league if uh, they do they do well in our pool. Like I said, those are not really facts. That's just me assuming. But assuming can make an ass out of you and me, which I think I just did. So, that's our pool, though. MVS, Tainted Minds, Optic. Red Reserve and the final team being somebody from the open bracket. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how rules work. Honestly, I've never known like what pool plays what pool, but apparently our pool is not supposed to play the pool we're supposed to play. But based on MLG rules, I guess like it is what we're supposed to play. I mean, personally, I don't care. Like I said, I don't really pay attention to rules when it comes to maps, rules, all that shit. I'll leave it to Matt, you know, and I just play. But, uh... I know that after our pool, you know, assuming we come first, or MV comes first, or we come second, or they come second, uh, the winner of our pool should play FaZe or LG, and then the other half of the bracket, well, Cloud9 got an easy pool again, and, and then there's E United, who, who honestly, in my opinion, I think E United got one of the crazier pools. Uh, I think it's probably a good pool for them. You know, they're not really straight up teams. I don't know if that really uh, has anything to do with it. But in terms of matchups, I think Panda and E6 probably play pretty close to their play style, and I think they're a better version of those teams. Uh, obviously, because, you know, they've won an event. Uh, I, I would probably bet my money on them still, but I don't know. Uh, Oh, no, that's not you, Knight. I think it's Rise's pool. I think Rise is in with, uh, Rise is in with Splice, um, E6, and Panda. Like I said, to me, that sounds awful. I would not want to be in a pool with those teams just because their play styles, dude. They're just annoying. I don't think they're consistent. They're just really fucking annoying. Uh, and unfortunately for Rise, they've lost to those teams in the past, uh, in Splice and Panda, I believe. So, I mean, that pool, I think, is probably one of the crazier pools. You know, it's it's got Panda fighting for one of the top spots, the last spot. E6 has got to be up there. They, they're probably more secure now that they won the last 2K. Um, I don't know who played them. I think they got smoked, though. I'm not really sure. I have uh, Cloud9. Honestly, I can't believe it lost to them still. So, um, I mean, I can believe it. We just didn't play good. I don't think they played any better. I don't think we played very good. Um, but that was after a bunch of problems. So, uh, what else? What else can we talk about? And yeah, I guess if we want to talk about the other pool, I believe it's e United, Cloud9, Mime Freak, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't really care. I just... I know our pool is Envy, I know the one pool has all this, the teams I think it's a harder pool. And there's a Cloud9 United pool. There's another pool, FaZe. FaZe got a pretty crazy pool I think, but I don't really care. Um, I don't really know what to talk about, but uh, yeah, like I said, I told you this game was going to be a long ass game. Okay, let me take a sip. I haven't took a sip. I feel like I'm a musical artist who just performed a song and didn't take a breath. Except that didn't just perform my song. I'm just talking over a gameplay that I had. And I'm hoping y'all enjoy it. It's crazy. I feel like this could be one of my other top Infinite Warfare videos. There's not been many from you, boy. But the ones I have put out have been pretty fucking gnarly. Whether it's been me roasting the game or, or saying that the developers need to fix some shit. Or whether it's me wall running on Mayday and getting a nuclear without touching the ground. It's always Mayday. I think the map's, it's a crappy map. It's kind of fun for pubs though. Uh, competitive map, no, 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 not very good. Just the way it's kind of laid out. But public matches, you know, I seem to have a good time on Mayday because the closest thing to playing like a, a shipment or a, I don't 
don't know. Were there any small maps in the other games? I don't think there really were. But you know what I mean. It's just a small map. It's fun to play. It's just not a very good map for competitive. Just because it is that small. Um, but shit, like I said, dude, this is probably like the longest game. I think it goes down to like 200 to 230. I'm at 110 kills. And at this point, they're like, yo, yeah, you gotta join up soon. Ian's almost here. And I'm like, yeah. But it's like my best game right now. And I think there's still at least like 50 kills left. I like, and, and, and this was like I said before I went to play Phase in the uh, in the 2K. I was like, yeah, we're we're not losing this. I'm fucking gunning, gunning like I'm running. Okay, now I really got to take a sip of my drink though. Oh, this part's pretty crazy. I think I get a cool clip here. No, nope. maybe not. Maybe not. World star! You didn't even shoot at me though. Um, it's like, dude, you almost have to praise YouTubers who they can go in and be like, "What's up, guys? Uh, we're in the middle of the video. And we're still going hard, playing this public match. Like I said, I got like 40 fucking kills left." This is a solid gameplay on Infinite Warfare using the K-Bar, Stock, Grip, and Quick Draw. Getting the triple kill with the melee. Karma is going off on the main stage right now, guys. And I, just, I really got to emphasize that you know, I've been having a lot of fun playing lately. Everyone's lagging out a lot. You know, it, it'd be really fun. I'm, I was really excited during that double XP to level up, but I didn't get a chance to prestige. I got so close, like level 49, and now I just can't really play pubs because I'm worried about getting hit off. Holy crap, we can keep going like this all day, but I don't know what to talk about. I kind of just go with the flow and think about ideas, but when I'm talking with this high octane, high velocity, high energy commentary, it's very, very difficult for me to think, Jack. Very difficult. Whoa! I got smoked right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how people like can do videos like that. That's that's when I, I make like a five-minute video and I'm like, all right, guys, you're gonna get one lung breath, one lung breath, and that's it. And after that first breath, I'm just gonna go with it. When the air stops flowing, I'm done. That would be my thing. I'd be done. Benito, Benito, Juanito, Canito, Juanchiti, Ranchito. Oh, dude, at this point, right? So at this point, I'm like, yes, keep getting time, keep getting time, keep getting time. But I'm running, look at me. Hidden slides, hidden G slides. Where are they? Oh, oh, do I get the double? I get the double. I'm just like, I gotta get every kill. Get every kill. Four piece. He stole my kill. Five piece. Got shot in the back. Chef Bang. Dude, we got so many kills right now. I bet somebody, I saw a YouTube video of somebody getting like 800 kills in a domination. But is that really fun sitting there watching somebody spawn in hardcore mode on Strike Zone? Come on, dude. Come on. It's cool, but that's not cool. This is cool. This is World Star. I'm like, come on, somebody kill the guys over the hill. Come on, I need more kills. That's how it ended, boys. 147 kills. 32 deaths. I don't know how y'all feel about it. I don't know what you guys have done. I don't know. You guys have probably beat that record. But I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I got a lot of kills. It's a hard point. It's not like it's a domination. I, so I feel like that's pretty good for a hard point. Not having a Thor and fucking Wally and robot. And fucking laser, laser fucking robots who run around shooting lasers. You know what I mean? But well, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you want to see more high-octane gameplays. I won't promise you anything because it's the first video in months. I kind of felt bad after the last video where I roasted uh, IW. But it was needed. It was needed. We will look back in the past, and, and you will all thank me for creating that video. Because that video paved the path for competitive infinite warfare. All right, I'm out. Thanks for watching, boys. Ah, where's my map?